In this lesson, we're going to take a look at breakpoints and also a couple of different ways that we can convert a polygon curve to a NURBS curve. So we'll start by looking at breakpoints. And to do that, I'm going to first draw a curve using the breakpoints creation method. I'll click the curve tool in the create shelf tab and I'll set my primitive type to NURBS and the method from control vertices to breakpoints. Now I'll just click in the viewport to start drawing the curve and I'll use the grid points as a guide to draw a sine wave pattern similar to the one that I drew in the last lesson. With the breakpoints selected as the method, we can see that the curve is traveling through those points where I'm clicking. If I turn on the point display and also the primitive hull display, we can see that Houdini has added the control points with the control vertices attached in the correct positions to make the curve pass through those breakpoint positions that are specified. If I dive inside this geometry container node and tap the S key to go into the selection mode, we can choose to select by breakpoints by clicking on this breakpoint button in the operation control toolbar here. Now we see those breakpoints displayed exactly where I clicked in the viewport when I drew the curve. And I can just click on one of these to select it and I'll hit the T key to switch to the move tool to move that breakpoint around. We can see that as I move that breakpoint around, Houdini automatically adjusts the position of the control points to accommodate that position that we want the curve to pass through. I'll just switch back to the select tool for a second and I just want to note that the breakpoint selection mode doesn't have a hotkey already assigned to it. So whereas the hotkeys one through to five will switch between object, point, edge, primitive and vertex selection, the six hotkey doesn't give us breakpoint selection mode, which is maybe what you'd expect to happen. We actually have to click in the operation control toolbar here or right click over the geometry select mode button here and choose breakpoints from this menu. We could set our own hotkey for it in the hotkey manager, but that's not something that we're going to cover right now. You'll notice that we don't have a button in the display options toolbar here to visualize the breakpoints in the viewport. If I switch to point selection mode, then we no longer see the breakpoints. We can enable breakpoint display though by bringing up the display options menu by hovering over the viewport and tapping the D key. And then under this primitives menu on the first markers tab, we can just enable breakpoint display here. So now we can see our breakpoints. Let's compare this curve which is being created using the breakpoint method with a curve which uses the CV method. So I'll just copy this curve node by holding down Alt and dragging it in the network editor. And in this copy, I'll set the method to CVs, which of course is the acronym for control vertices. When I do that, we see that those points which I initially added when I drew the curve using the breakpoint method are now being treated as the control vertices. And the curve is no longer passing through those points, but instead being controlled by those points. If I set the template flag back on the original curve, we can clearly see that those points are the breakpoint positions that are specified. So we've seen how we can draw a curve using either breakpoints or CVs. But what if we have a series of disconnected points which we want to connect with a NURBS curve? If I copy this curve node again, we can take a look at a new feature which was added to this node in Houdini 18. Under this primitive type dropdown, we now have the option to choose just to create only points without any connectivity between them, just like we get on the primitive object nodes. So now we've got a series of disconnected points. Earlier on in this course, we connected points to create a polygon curve using the add node. But if I do the same thing here and drop down an add node after this curve node, we can see that we can add polygons, but we don't have any options to connect them with a NURBS primitive. The add node can only create points and polygons, but that's okay because we can easily convert a polygon curve to a NURBS curve using a convert node. So I'll drop down a convert node after this add node. The convert node allows us to convert from one primitive type to another. We can choose the from primitive type, which we don't very often have to do because the default is all types, which just reads the incoming geometry type. Below this, we have a convert to, which is what we're more interested in. So in this dropdown, I'll choose to convert to a NURBS curve. And we can see that the points of the incoming polygon curve are treated as the control vertices and the NURBS curves taking that smooth average path between them. If I switch the display flag between this curve node here, which is drawn using the CV method and the convert node, we can see that they're identical. So we can use the convert node to convert a polygon curve to a NURBS curve when we want those incoming points to be the position of the control vertices for the NURBS curve. But what if we want those point positions to be breakpoints? To do that, rather than use a convert node, we can use a fit node. So I'll drop down a fit node after this add node 
And under this first bit tab, I'm going to change the method from approximation to interpolation. And then under the interpolation tab, I'll change the scope from global to breakpoints. And now we see if I set my template flag on the add node, we can see that those incoming points to the polygon curve are treated as breakpoints. And we can see that the control points are automatically set to the appropriate positions to shape the curve to those breakpoint locations. If I move my display flag between this fit node and the first curve node that I drew using the breakpoint method, we can see that the fit nodes created an identical curve. So with a NURBS curve, just like with a polygon curve, we're simply connecting a series of points with a primitive. And when we connect points with a NURBS primitive, we can choose whether we want to treat those points as control vertices or breakpoints as we connect them. In the case of control vertices, the resulting curve will interpolate between the average positions of those points. And in the case of breakpoints, the curve will take an interpolating path passing directly through those point positions.